Hey everyone, it's me, Chandon. Um, today, I want to talk to you guys about something that affects me almost every day, if not every day. Um, I know that it affects a lot of people all over the world in so many different ways. Um, a lot of them are worse than my case, I guess, um, to, to put it into terms, I guess it is a case, um, Satanists are treated like, like Hitler treated the Jews. False information spread by violence. You have or had no choice but to fall in line or you died. You go against the organization that is spreading these half-truths and lies and you ended up dead. Now, today, at least where I live, you don't necessarily end up dead. You do end up dead in some countries, some parts of the world, still today. Myself, I didn't want to talk about this because I didn't want to give it validation. These people don't deserve the validation, but after so long... I'm tired of keeping it to myself. When I say that I am risking my life to be on YouTube and talk about being a witch, talk about what it is, talk about being a Satanist and talk about what that is and what it really means, trying to spread the truth, right? When I say that I'm risking my life for that, I'm not exaggerating, okay? There are crazy people in this world. And just because you're told from the time you grow up that you live in a great country and you live by the law doesn't mean that everybody else does. You never know. Who's going to break the law and who won't? How far will they go? How smart are they? Do they know how to evade the law? And also, how much does the law actually care about what's being done? my specific case I have had multiple people um, watch me which isn't really a bad thing But it is very annoying. And after, you know, the first few months of being watched, you know, cars following you, groups of people hiding in your neighbor's backyard to watch you,
seeing one of your neighbors actually watch you. <laughs> when your house gets broken into, the doors are left open. You go to your neighbors to, you know, warn them like, hey, our house got broken into. Just letting you know so that you can lock your doors if you don't or whatever. You know, just trying to be a um, friendly person trying to warn them that something bad happened in their neighborhood. I didn't want it to happen to them. And then them, uh, in turn, um, yelling at you to get off of their front yard. Um, don't make them call the cops. They're tired of your uh, pedophilia. And uh, perversion. You know, after the first few months of all of this and more, you know, uh, the mental part of myself was suffering. And I am still working on it. Right, I'm still trying to every day keep these things from affecting me in the mind because I know that if I let it affect me in the mind, that's exactly what they want. They want me to be weak so that I will go to what they go to. So it's been years now, almost, almost, it's been over a year for sure. That I've been watched, followed, um, stopped, basically. Um, I've seen some of their faces. Some of them. Others are in hoods at night. Can't really see their face. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is, um, it's just to get it out there. There's all throughout this, this period, I would go to family. I would go to what I thought were friends. I would go to anybody and everybody that I could. I called law enforcement one time when a flashlight was shined through my window, a window in the backyard where nobody should be, right? Um, there, <laughs> nobody seemed to believe or really care. Now, I'm not attacking law enforcement I understand why it's there. I understand that not everybody is a bad cop. But I've had pretty shitty experiences with cops that take their job as a job and nothing more. They don't care about serve and protect. They don't care about the people that they are supposed to be protecting as their job. They just care about the paycheck. They just care about themselves. <sighs> and it's very hard to convince a police officer as well that you are being followed and stalked. You know, why you? You know, you're not, you're not, <laughs> you're not Selena Gomez or Justin Bieber. You don't, you don't have a lot of attention like that. So who and why? Well, who? I don't know. There's plenty of people out there that would probably like to kill me. Um, and I put all of those uh, justifications for them right here in the public eye. Um, <laughs> um, 
personally, I've had friends that make me feel like they don't really care about me as a friend. They just want to use me for my abilities. All of this wears and tears on your mind. Who am I? Why do these people want to do this? I <laughs> am just a person trying to be a person, right? I'm trying to be a good person. You know, I'm trying to spread the knowledge that I have about things that have been suppressed for years. I'm trying to teach people about things that they have been lied about. Trying to expose, expose the lies. I'm trying to help people that want to know about this stuff, right? Because they're curious. They feel the same thing that I felt when I first came to Satanism, specifically. Demons. Now, I've attracted some people that um, take this either too seriously in the wrong direction or not seriously enough in the proper direction. A lot of times both. It's very difficult to do this. I had thoughts in my mind when I first turned this camera on about how this video was going to reference the Holocaust and I was going to be able to, to uh, make you understand how this is the same. But um, if, if you're on the side of crazy people that just want to hurt you and me, you know, then there's, there's no getting to you. You're stuck. It's like super glue. You, you don't, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. People in this, this community understand what I'm saying. If they're really in this community and they are really dedicated to to themselves and making themselves better so that they can help others and make the world a better place. Those people are the people that I am trying to talk talk to when I'm talking about anything on my channel. Those are the people that I'm trying to attract into my life. That's how I was raised. Help people. I have plans to be a a psychologist, a, a therapist, among other things, because I want to help people. And mental illness is still misunderstood. In so many ways. So many ways. The mind of the human is everything. Everything. People don't want me to live around them. That is why I feel like it's a Holocaust type of feeling. Because they want to segregate us. Because of the stories that they have been told from the time they were very little, they don't think that we belong on the same planet as them. They want us to go somewhere else where they don't have to see us. They don't have to think about us. We're not real.
I'm sure if given the opportunity, they would sell us out to anyone that was trying to take us to a camp or anywhere that they didn't know as long as they knew that we weren't going to come back to where they want to live because they want to control everything. They want to control their neighborhood. They want to control the neighborhoods around them. They want to control their, their region and their country more than they care about helping anybody. You would think that if they thought that we were damned, if they thought that we were sick, they would try to help us, right? But no, they, they don't want to try to help us. They just want us to leave. They just don't want to deal with it. I believe in energy, okay? I believe in what science has proven, right? Everything is energy and everything is connected. Everything is connected. When you understand that everything is energy and everything is connected, and the way that your body moves, the way that you exist, is from your brain shooting commands with energy, right? Which is intensified energy with intention. Energy and intention. Those waves come from your brain and tell your body everything that it does before it does it. That is the reason that you do anything. If that is magic, to use that knowledge to your advantage, if that is magic and that is evil and that is against a creator's will power for the universe, then every time that you take a step, every time you blink, every time you breathe, every time you speak, every time you eat, every time you drink, every time you do anything, it is against that willpower. Because every spell that I do would not work without my mind sending those waves of intention and energy. Because that is what energizes it. It's like a lamp. It has to be plugged into an energizer, right? Somewhere where energy can be drawn from. That lamp will not work if you don't plug it in. In wanting to better yourself, that is not evil. And wanting to better myself, I'm unwelcome nearly everywhere I go, especially being stuck in this um, very, very Christian Catholic town in a very, very Christian Catholic state in a very, very Christian Catholic country. I know there are others that are more so, I'm sure. But <laughs> it's so hard here. I can't wait until I get out of this place. Or maybe I'm supposed to be here so that I can help change it. But nobody wants to listen. They don't want to understand why what they believe isn't 
applicable. It's not true. There's factual evidence that says that I'm not evil. Like the fact that I'm not. I don't do anything evil. I don't serve any devil. I serve myself. I serve the earth. I serve the animals on the earth, including humans. I try to help. That's what I do. I pick up trash outside because it doesn't belong there. I feed stray animals because they're hungry and they deserve to eat. I listen to people when they need someone to talk to. I try to help them with whatever problems they may be going through. If you are on this path that I'm on, you should heed the warning for now. Self-preservation is key. But the reason why I haven't um, kept my path to myself in the town that I'm in to preserve myself is because I feel like it's necessary. There is no reason why we should have to hide just so that we can live somewhere without people going crazy. There's no reason. I went through the same thing. You know, all of this discrimination. I went through the same uh, uh, discrimination tactics when I was in elementary school. All the way up even into middle school. Bullied for being gay. Bullied for being different. Bullied for caring when I should. When nobody else did. And it kind of feels the same. Kind of feels like they are, are um, discriminating against my, my sexuality. They're, they're discriminating against my religion too. They're discriminating against almost everything that makes me who I am. They're just discriminating against me. Which is based off of nothing. It's based off of the tales of someone that died a long time ago. Why is this still allowed? I mean, I, I, I kind of understand why. I mean, look at this year. We've gone through the biggest regression in our history and we are still suffering. Our economy is still suffering. And our leaders, our policy makers are not giving us any help. Why? Because they don't care about the working class, even though the working class is what keeps this country up and running. I see. Do you see? Do you pay attention? There's so many problems right now. And, and nobody seems to uh, care enough to do what it takes to fix those problems. I'm sure there's people that are doing what they can. Like me, I don't have access to do anything else except for talk about it here. And hope that people will listen.
I have no clue who's going to listen to this and who won't. YouTube might take it down. They like to do that. YouTube might hide it from my subscribers. They like to do that too. Anyway. I'm probably going to have to go private. Now, I won't delete anything. But um, I may or may not continue posting on YouTube after I go private. Um, now, by going private, I mean um, like Patreon or something where you have to contribute to my cause in order to take from it. Okay. <laughs> So if you're a crazy person that wants to watch my videos and read my, my posts because you want to gain insight on how you can fuck with me or what lies you need to tell next to stay relevant, you're going to have to pay me for it. So you can pay me to have access to staying re relevant. In your craziness and those of you that want to actually learn that want to actually join a community where you don't have to worry about crazy people where you get real information and someone to talk to about this real information and how to really apply it to real problems it's not expensive. But it will weed out all of the people that aren't serious and um, that are crazy. So now you guys understand a little bit more about why I went and uh, removed all of my videos temporarily. Because I'm tired of being discriminated against. I'm going to keep posting regularly um, for now. Um, but I do want to know if there are any of you um, that would join if I went to Patreon or something like that. Or if you guys have any suggestions on where else I could go. Um, my, my biggest thing is I, I need to know if there is anybody that will go. So if there is anybody that will go, please leave a comment or message me or email me. Um, contact me somehow and let me know that you will go. Um, if I switch over because I do want to help people I do want to continue um, spreading this information as far as I can and if that means I have to stay here then I will stay here um, but I would rather not have to so please do let me know this video is way too long I'm very very sorry about all of this <clears throat> It's just something that I had to get out there and get off my chest. Um, I know that a lot of people can understand and relate. That is very valuable to me right now. Um, my mind is all right now. Um, I'm in a better, better place. Um, and I just needed to get it out. So no worrying about me. I'm okay. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. This video is way too long. Again, I said it again. Peace, power, and growth unto everybody watching this video. Horns up. Hail Satan.